knowledge is power and this is my Range Rover L405 the broken one and this is my Range Rover L405 engine still the broken one after discovering an engine knocking issue on my broken vandalized Range Rover L405 which I bought from the auction I removed the oil filter and noticed that it had metal particles in it. This is when I realized that the only way to get to the root of the problem was by taking the engine out. And in a previous video, I used the workshop manual and I managed to take the engine out. However, now I have to disassemble the engine to find out where the knocking is coming from. But my current challenge is that I honestly do not know how to disassemble the engine since I am not a mechanic and I have a fear of not knowing how to assemble it back but that's the only way for us to know what is the real issue of the engine we need to look at the workshop manual and start disassembling the engine one by one but first we have to put the engine on the engine stand Okay, when you put fuel in your car, in our case it's diesel, that fuel turns to energy. That diesel combusts, explodes. It moves six pistons and they go up and down. This movement, when the one goes up and go down, it rotates another pipe here that connects from the front till the end of the engine. It looks like this. And I think, I think, this is where we have the problem. In the middle, in between, okay, here, what's connecting between them, there is something called bearing, okay? A metal piece, like a sacrificial piece. It wears out, and when it does wear out, you get this knocking, because there is a gap between them. Now, this is what I think the problem is. Okay, I got the tray ready. I got the impact driver ready. I need to put the, the bits, and we're gonna have to disassemble one by one, label as much as possible, pack them, so we can put it back and assemble it back, basically. Really, guys, just good luck to me. Good luck to you, Alex. Good luck, everyone. I don't know if it's gonna work. Let's see. <laughs> I'm in shock. I am, uh, um, hmm. I, what? No. Do you think Persia made this? Like it's a Peugeot engine? No. Now is the exciting bit, the fuel injectors. Each fuel injector has two screws on its side, so I unscrewed them all. And then this is called a sliding hammer. So you slide it on top of the fuel injector and then you hammer it like this. It looks clean. It's a bit rust here, but that's from the top. But here, I know there's dirt, but that's way cleaner than I thought it would be, if I'm honest with you. This is the second one. Okay, this one is worse. That carbon? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's worse. I wouldn't say they're in a horrible condition whatsoever. This is number three. Whoa! Is that oil? That's a little bit of dirt, yeah. Definitely needs refurbishing and cleaning. Can you see the end? That, that is a washer that needs replacing as well. That's the injector washer. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It gets crushed, so it needs replacing. This is injector number four. <sighs> I know it looks scary, but I think it's okay. I honestly think it's okay. So this is number five, more or less same condition. The good thing is, I guess all of them are same condition. Not one is worse than the other. This is number six. Again, same condition. Now I am removing the manifold. This should be easy since we have done it previously in the L322. Right, Alex? Yes, I heard it. Ready? Yes, it's coming up. Wow. That's been a long time since I've seen this. Wow. You know what? Yes. I th it looks like it's been replaced recently. Oh, it's quite malleable, isn't it? Yeah, let's now check this side. Please be okay, come on. You can see it better than me. Yeah. Is it okay? Yeah, it's okay. So, most importantly, let's look at these. If there's no scratch on them, they're not scratched. Can you see how smooth they are? Yeah. That's, that's really good news. 
Ah, that means it can't be the any metal particles. They're not from them. Yes. Yeah, so that's good news. And you see here, it's all clean. No problem here. So the problem is even deeper. You know, it's the last screw that we're gonna take out. That's where the problem is gonna be. You know, in petrol cars, they have spark plugs. Here they have glow plugs because petrol combusts with sparks, but this, it combusts with heat and compression and that will spark, sorry, that will ignite the, uh, the diesel, which is completely different. Glow plugs, okay, from right to left, yeah? One, two. Yeah. That's number three, that's number four, and that's number five, and that's number six. And the coloring is different, can you see? But look yeah. at number two, it's slightly Whoa. not darkened. Yeah. Whoa. But the, the, the colors look okay. okay. The color looks okay, everything is okay. If I'm honest with you, I feel like they look all okay. Mm. But let's just number them just in case, so we put it back. Okay, it's almost midnight, but I don't want to go home because I am almost there, guys. So this is a cylinder head, yes? yes? This is the sump. That's the engine block. And to remove this, we're so close. We just have to remove some bolts on top, and that's it. We remove the head. And once we do that, look, that's, that's not much left. There's not much left. So I don't want to go home. I'm too excited. I can't. I won't be able to sleep. I'll make us some coffee. And yes. Continue. Yes, yes. Yeah. So let's just crack these bolts open yeah. and remove the cylinder head. And then we're getting closer to the, finding out the problem. Yes. Once I remove this, I find the pistons. Yeah. I think the pistons are underneath this. I'm going to step back. Alex. Yeah. They're not coming off? Okay, I think I need a big, bigger break bar. <laughs> Here you go. That's it. That's it. This is how you break it. You just surprise it. So it's the element of surprise. It's not pushing really hard. Like that. Yeah. Oh, look. What's that? What? See? <laughs> That's how it works. <laughs> Let's see if they move. This one does not move. They not move. Let me see the cylinder, the, the wall. They lift, they go up and down, right? Yeah, yeah, this is, this is, one yeah, is, yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. I'm gonna see the walls. Yeah. Oh. There's a bit of rust here. Yeah, I can see. Hmm. But there's no scratches. They don't move. You know what? I thought I'm gonna be able to tell what the problem is. Yeah, you know, what? someone did something online. They used a hammer to test. That's it. Why is the locking? Touch, touch that one again. No, no, no. That's it. I think that is the problem. I don't know if you heard it. I heard a tongue, a sound. I think that is it. But why can we not hear now? Because I, I pushed it down. Oh. I think this is the problem. I have Alex here. She's gonna hold it, so not twist. And actually, it's not about the twisting. The twisting is the wood here, so to stop it from twisting. It's more like resistant. Resistant, yeah. to, so, so, so it doesn't go back. Yeah. So it doesn't go back. Let's do it. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, yeah. uh, you turn Which the other way. The other way. Yeah, you turn that way. Ready? Yeah. Okay, you ready? No, 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 ready. Okay, now. Yes! Ah. More. Yes? Yeah. Yeah. It's going. Yes! Yeah. Ready? One more time. Ready. Yes! <laughs> Woo! That was the secret. I just need to put all the phones here. Ready? One more time. Okay, one more time. Oh, no, it's, that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six. You remember how it was piston? You could see the piston? Yeah. Like 
round shape. Yes, yes. This is the other end of it. Oh. That reminds me a lot of the... Oh, listen. That's the knocking. Isn't it? Finally, right? Number two. That's where the engine knocking is. I thank you very much for watching this video guys. If you have enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe for future videos. We've got a lot of repairs to do, assemble the engine and put it back in the car. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye. Now I know what the problem is, okay? Now I want to know what um, damages it has caused.